Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Ahmed from Tofu Secrets channel And today we are going to talk about the Tofu speaking task 1 The information in this video were taken from Tofu Secrets book If you guys haven't heard of this book before You can watch the video We talked in details about this book You will find the video in the Y exclamation icon Go and watch the video Now we will go to the table of contents so that can take us easily here's chapter 4 speaking section the introduction the third section of the TOEFL IBT test is the speaking section in this section you will be asked to speak on a variety of topics that draw on personal experience campus based situation and academic materials فراح نتكلم هنا في قسم السبيكينج عن الخبرات الشخصية وهذا في السؤال الأول This one is in the first question Campus based situations in the second question and an academic materials in the third and fourth questions The speaking section takes about 17 minutes to complete and there are four questions Question one is the independent speaking question and when I say independent I mean you will not see reading passage you will only read the question there's no reading passages there is no listening materials it's the opposite of question 2 and question 3 فال independent ما راح يكون في قراءة ولا راح يكون في مادة استماعية فقط question which is on a topic that is familiar to you question 2 through 4 are the integrated speaking question when I say integrated I mean you will read reading passage you will listen to a listening material for these questions you have to use more than one skill some questions require you to read listen and then speak while others require you to listen and then speak this one is in uh, question 4 listen and then speak you will not see a reading passage okay when you listen you will hear accents from North America and you may also hear accents from the UK New Zealand or Australia for all speaking questions you use the headset with a microphone to record your responses this is only in the mock tests not in the real exam on the day the exam is due you will not be allowed to use this you will be asked to use the speakers your responses are sent to the ETS to be scored by certified raters the speaking section score will be on a scale from 0 up to 30 the following table shows how the timing will be in the speaking section so in question number one the preparation time is 15 seconds that's the time you will prepare your answer then the response time is 45 seconds you will have only 45 seconds to speak and give your answer and you should finish your answer in 45 seconds question number two the preparation time is 30 seconds the response time is 60 seconds Question number three and four are the same. Now, we will go in more details. Task one, independent question. In this question number one, you will have different forms or different types. You either might see agree or disagree styles, or princes styles, or three choices, or advantages and disadvantages. The independent speaking question asks about a familiar topic. You will be presented with two options and will need to make a choice between them. You will have to explain your preferences for one of the options you choose using reasons and details. Okay, here's the four styles that I talked about. Agree, disagree styles. This is the more common type. 
preference styles. This also is more common. Three choices styles, advantages and disadvantages styles. Given the fact that these two are more common, it does not make you to only study these two types and ignore the rest. No, try to study all of them, but focus more on these two first types. Okay, template for task one, agree or disagree styles. Personally, I agree or you can say disagree. It's according to your uh, personal opinion. Okay, I agree with the idea that or I disagree with the idea that here you mention your idea for two main reasons and notice here is the transitional sentence that will take the listener from this sentence to next one so you connecting the first sentence which is this to the sentence that comes after for two main reasons or you can say I feel this way for two main reasons أميل إلى هذا الرأي لأحد الأسباب التالية the first reason is that here you mention the reason for example in here you mention the example the second reason is that here you mention the second reason for instance here you mention the second example okay therefore these reasons are why I agree or you can say I disagree that here you mention your opinion okay this is the template it's short it's easy to memorize okay and notice I didn't make it bold because this is optional why because you can ignore it and you can see it so when to say this sentence if you have time you can say this sentence but if you don't you can ignore this sentence it's an optional now let's take an example here's the question on the first type do you agree or disagree with the following statement? Higher education means a better career. Use details and examples to support your explanation. Here's the answer. Notice guys. The sentences in green, this is the template. The sentences in blue is your words, your own opinion. Personally, I disagree with the idea that people with higher education usually have a better career for two main reasons or you can say I feel this way for two main reasons the first reason is that here you mentioned the first reason the second reason the, this is the second reason for example this is the example number one the second reason is that you mentioned here the second reason the example and then here's the optional sentence you can pause the video and read this answer. Okay, now we move to template for task one. Here we go to the next style, which is preference style. Here's the template. I prefer X over Y for two main reasons. Or I feel this way for two main reasons. The first reason is that, here you mention the reason. The example, the second reason, the second uh, example. Here's the optional sentence. If you have more time, you can say it. Otherwise, ignore it. Now we move to the example. Do you prefer indoor activities or outdoor activities? Use details and examples to support your explanation. I prefer outdoor activities over indoor activities for two main reasons here's the first reason here is the example the second reason the second example and then the optional sentence you can pause the video and read the sample answer okay now we move to the next type three choices this is an optional sentence you can ignore it if I had to choose I would choose then you mention here your option 
your choice for two main reasons or I feel this way for two main reasons أنا أميل إلى هذا الرأي لأحد الأسباب التالية The first reason is that For example, the second reason is that The instance Then the optional sentence Example Which one would you like to choose for final project? Giving a presentation Writing a paper Creating a video Sample answer This is a good question if I had to choose, I would choose to write a paper for my final project for two main reasons. The first reason is that this, the example is this, the second reason, the example, the optional sentence. You can pause the video and read the answer. Okay, now we move to the next type, advantages and disadvantages styles. Certainly, there are many advantages and disadvantages too. Then, here you mention the thing that the examiner gave you. One advantage is that, here you mention the, the advantage, the example. On other hand, a major disadvantage is that, here you mention the disadvantage, the example. The optional sentence. Example. Some students take extra private lessons outside school hours. What are the advantages and disadvantages of private tuition? There are certainly advantages and disadvantages to private tuition. One advantage, here's the advantage, the example, the disadvantage, the example, the optional sentence. Read the answer, please. Okay, now we move to the two question styles from the old TOEFL. These two questions were produced in the old version of TOEFL, but given the fact that they were old, it does not make them not common on the new version of TOEFL. Okay, the first question is if imaginary styles this is a good question this is an optional if I had X I would choose Y for two main reasons the reason the example second reason the second example the optional here's the example if you had a small amount of money would you spend it right away or save it use details and, exa and examples to support your explanation Notice here, if, and then imaginary scenario. Okay, this is called if and imaginary styles. And if you guys notice, all the template almost similar and in the same format. Why? Because we want you to memorize them easily. Okay? Template for task one description and explanation styles here's the optional sentence personally I think is X is advantage uh, is here you mention the adjective okay for example you can say uh, personally I think mobile phones is time consuming or waste of time like this for two main reasons, here you mention your reasons and examples. The optional sentence. Now we will read some examples about this type. Should using cell phones be permitted while driving? Use details and examples to support your explanation. Here you will describe something or explain something. This is why this type goes right under the description and explanation okay next example what is an important an important benefit that an employer can offer to make sure employees are happy and healthy notice he wants you to explain something or describe something use details and examples to support your explanation now 
And finally, we have the last thing, which is advices. Try to use simple words, not hard ones. As if you are speaking to your friend, use simple words, not hard ones. As if you are speaking to your friend, be careful of the grammatical mistakes. When you do a mistake, keep talking and do not repeat the sentence because that affects your score and you don't want to do that. When you stop talking to think about what to say, don't repeat the sentence. Repetition affects your score. Finally, if you guys enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up, write a nice comment, uh, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. Turn on the not notification bell on so that you can get more TOEFL videos. And I'll see you guys later.